Okay, inside this building is all the fun. 50 BMG in here. And, and you guys know, man, there's no fun like pulling the trigger on a 50 and going and watching it go a mile down the road. Now, I'm just gonna say from the outset, MagTech is not currently importing 50 BMG to the United States for the civilian market. But every time you see the United States Navy lighting off a 50 cal, this is where it's coming from now. Sure. Just got a US Navy contract on this. So I think it's super cool to see how it starts this really thick uh, a coil topper. Six millimeter thick coil. And, and turns into a projectile and a full cartridge. So let's yep. go take a look. I'll show everything. Many thanks to Magtech Ammunition for sponsoring today's video. It's the only ammunition that goes through my pistols or rifles and is the best stuff on the range. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Everything starts with this coil. Six millimeter coil. Coil. Thickness. You couldn't bend that with your hand. Maybe I should have grabbed one of those gloves. Yeah, yeah. There is no cup inside the trash. I don't care what, okay? Look What's at this. Set? So this is the, the plug that it plugs and this is all the extra. He ran off, we lost him. Hold on a sec. Where did he go? Ah, there we go. This is a cup, a Nenex cup. The pressure and, and a Nenex, yeah. So After the double the stroke plug, plug turns it into a basically a big chunk, plug it in there, and then yes. anneal it. We cut a bit, we cut a bit, and after that, we draw the cup. And then we have the cup for 0.50, ready to be annealed. This cup is already annealed. This is just the first annealing process. After that, we have more. Second, third process of annealing, of uh, drawing and annealing. And then we have the case, ready to be tapered. The next step. We show step by step, check on the kneeling and yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is the second draw. Yeah. So this, after the first one, hold and then it kneels again so that it doesn't crack. We press again and anneal it again. And then it's ready to be drawn again. The first draw. And now from this to this. And then it's ready for one more. Draw, and the last one. So, a one. And then they have the last one, the last draw, ready to be tapered now. To be the red heading now. Yeah? Now we are going to do heading. But if the draw is already done. Just in the mouth, in just this region, mouth. yeah. In order to become smooth enough to be tapered, okay? Let's go! 
não tu imagina. Oh, wow. Não, não, faz aqui, ó. It's like he hit the jackpot on the 50 cal lotto. Like he went to the casino. Ring and ring and ring. I'm a winner. Huh? For a lot. But we can, we can, we can see pay for him. Then you must remember to change, okay? Because I will show you that machine running now. I show you tapering, okay? okay? So, tapering. The material that is annealed is ready to be tapered. The shape of a point six ammunition. Is that tapering it in one press or two? Just one press. One press. One press. Paper case. Paper case. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, here is the scripture. Just yeah. for watching to what it is. Why? Because it's very important. Nothing inside. Just hold it. Yeah. You know? Super dry. Yeah. Very, very good. Wash it clean and dry. That's why it's we can see a very important uh, case, a very important point to be very clean the case. Yeah. But this process, is prior, this process prior to turning, you must wash. That's better to clean with this. Prior to this is better to show. That's not a good question. This is good to wash it. Why? Because. After pressing, you have grease here and you have oil. Then you must wash prior to turning. You know, because after here, we have a very clean thing prior to turning and then we turn. Right. Yes, it's better. Why? Because, because if you have grease or oil on the surface, it's impossible to turn and they stick to the surface and you become uh, dirty. Okay? That's why we wash before. Yeah, before turning. Okay. And then we put into a new fucking size. Then we do grooving and cut it to length. 